Some applications have very strict requirements for cleanliness of the inside of metal hoses. Perhaps the hose is bringing a pure gas to a piece of equipment which would be harmed by even very small particles of anything but that gas. Or the hose is in oxygen service, defined as carrying greater than 23% oxygen gas. In a hose like this, it's very important to avoid the ignition of contaminants which could act as fuel. We all plan our fabrication process to minimize things like oil, grease, fibers, or metal chips inside hose assemblies, but very small amounts could remain. There are several specifications for cleaning for oxygen service in the metal hose industry. The most common one is the Compressed Gas Association's CGA G4.1. This spec is not a simple code like the ASME B16.5 for pipe flanges. B16.5 defines things like materials, thickness, ODs, IDs, and bolt hole diameters. So it's very easy to measure a flange and judge its conformance to that code. The CGA G4.1 spec is not like this. Instead, it makes you think. It doesn't tell you exactly how to clean the hose. It tells you about the many ways you could clean it. Using steam or hot water, caustic solution, acid, solvents, vapor degreasing, or mechanical means. The spec guides you through the process of considering what is important to your situation. Figuring out the right process for cleaning the inside of your hose depends on what's in there that you need to remove. Will you submerge the hose in a solution or just swab the inside and then flush it out? How will you dry the hose afterwards in order to get out all the moisture hiding down in the bottom of the corrugations? The spec makes suggestions, but you decide when defining your cleaning process. The hardest part, though, is determining whether the cleaning process has worked. After choosing one of the options described in the CGA spec, let's say that I've performed my post-fabrication cleaning. How do I know if the hose is now clean enough? CGA G4.1 describes various inspection methods and suggests a few acceptable contamination levels, but it doesn't tell you exactly where to draw the line. Instead, it indicates that cleanliness requirements are developed between the buyer and the seller to meet a particular need. So if you see a reference to this kind of cleaning spec without further details, be aware that there may be additional discussions needed. For example, if you plan to outsource this cleaning, your contractor may tell you that he usually uses vapor degreasing for oxygen service and will produce a document saying that he performed an analysis certifying that non-volatile residues are below a certain limit. It would be smart to put this right in your quote and get your customer to agree to it up front or know that any changes could affect the price. If you want to learn more about this subject, check out our engineering bulletin number 148, which is available now on PenFlex.com.